I am 16 exits in, six exits to go. Uh, I'm gonna get up real fast and go get myself a cup of coffee. I will be right back. All right, be right back guys, just one sec. Oh, you know what? Hang on. We need a new meme. It's time to retire the Oompa Loompas. Right now, it's time for... <laughs> one second. Where is it? There you go. <laughs> Mario Maker Super Expert. I can do this all day. <laughs> Captain, Captain, Captain Orator. As far as I'm concerned, that's Mario Maker's ass. <laughs> All right, let's turn off Captain Orator. Uh, okay. And let's play some, uh, let's play some Salty Sagan World, guys. This game isn't frustrating at all, right? <laughs> I want Aura to have an emote. I want Aura to have an emote where he's wearing the Captain America thing. I feel like we should do that. Right, I'm going to turn volumes a little loud for me. Okay. Let's do it. Are you Mr. Where's the Bald Man? All right, looks like we got a vertical level. I do like vertical levels. What do I get for my fancy coffee machine? Um, I'm just, this. I just have a microwave cup of coffee right now from a pot. God. <laughs> uh, this isn't gonna be frustrating at all. This is, I wanted to avoid stuff. When I made vertical going down sections in Grand Portal 2, I wanted to avoid exactly this. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. God. Yeah, fancy microwave. Right, so I guess I just jump over, okay. There's no, so the, this lava is not actually lava. This lava is munchers. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Normally the side of cave lava doesn't hurt you. It's actually, uh, it's actually not. I wish there was like a little bit more leeway. That background is fucking ugly as shit, by the way. That layer three. Was I supposed to spin jump on the Blarg, I guess? Okay. You're displeased with the Koopa placement? There's a lot to be displeased with in this game. It's still a pretty good game. Okay, so that's what I do, and then I go in the hole. All right. Yeah, this game overall, the colors in this game are like, like a three out of 10. This game has some bad colors, in my opinion. How's this ROM hack? Uh, it is exactly the, it's exactly between, I fucking hate this, it's annoying as shit, and it's still actually fun to play. It's exactly between those, and every level, every level rides the line. This, this hack is the Blade Runner of ROM hacks. It's right between those. What's the best level in Grand Portal 2, in my opinion? Uh, the best level? I don't know. Just best overall level? Whoa, okay. I'm not sure what to do there. I don't think I really have a favorite level. In Grand Portal 2. Maybe like Hanzo Castle or something. Okay, I'm not sure what to do there. Well, what was the most fun to make in Grand Portal 2? Most fun to make? Maybe like Danger Zone or something? I had a lot of fun making Thousand Halls, but Thousand Halls was, uh, was a lot of work. When something is so hard and difficult, when like takes so much time, it starts, it stops being as much fun as it could be. 
Okay, I should rub. Well, no, I can't rub the wall because the layer two is moving. I'm trying to figure out what to do there. Make all the levels in the castle. Yeah, it was fun. It's cool how not only not only is it cool seeing how everybody's first playthrough played out differently in the final castle. It's also cool that even in the speed run, people still do slightly different stuff. That's pretty cool, I think. Do I wait here? What do I do there? I don't know what to do. Why be streaming Mario Maker 1 once 2 comes out? Fuck no. Mario Maker 1 is dead to me. Absolutely not. Mario Maker 1 can rot in hell. <laughs> not even, not even slightly sarcastic. Literally, it can rot in hell. Fuck you. I really don't know what to do there. I can't go. It's very hard to know when something is too tight or annoyingly tight. Very hard to know. It's a, it's a skill. It's a skill for level designers. This game has a lot of needless tightness. Like it does not need to be as tight as it is. This fall, this first fall does not need to be this tight at all. It really doesn't. There's no reason for it to be this tight. I keep forgetting what to do there. I keep forgetting. And the thing is, it's really hard to know. It's hard to know. Oh, this is too tight. Especially if you, if you, if you're making it and you know exactly how to do it and you did it the same every time. Like, it's really hard to know. So far, this level is like every other level. It is fucking annoying. So far, true to form, this game is still fucking annoying. <laughs> so far, it is exactly like every other level. Why, why, why did I die there? Why did I deserve to die to that one? What did I do wrong? All right, wait, wait, wait. Cool. Why? This is so dumb. Why? Okay, so then jump. I can get closer to the slope, fall down. Don't know what's next. A checkpoint after this obstacle. I think you may be in for a rough ride. have gone anyway i have to wait yeah we're definitely not close to a checkpoint <laughs> the colors in this game overall are all awful there there hasn't been a color palette that i've seen that's been like yeah that looks great they've all been either default or awful the, you know what the worst thing as a twitch streamer you know what the worst thing that can ever happen in a conversation is when somebody asks so what are you doing you're like oh you know i i stream from twitch and if, if you say so if i say i stream from twitch i'm a streamer Either they're gonna think I'm a porn actor or something, which I'm definitely not a porn actor. Or they're gonna be like, what's Twitch? I've never heard of it. And it's like, oh, it's a play, it's a, you know, a website where people play video games. They do something like, you play video games for a living? You're so lucky. Oh my God. I wish I could do that. I hate, I fucking hate that. I hate, I hate how many times I've had that conversation. I hate how many times I've had that conversation. I absolutely hate it. Oh, uh, I guess no regrab there. <laughs> Dude, is this, is that a, 
Is that a two frame? How am I supposed to make that? I kind of wish this level just had no background because the background's actually like fucking with my eyes too. Wish it just had no background period. You know, you know what my dream is? You know what my dream is? One day I play a Mario World ROM hack like this one. And the creator is in is in the chat. And they're like taking notes on everything I say. And they do they take all of my suggestions and apply them to their hack. And they turn it into a much better ROM hack. That is my dream. That's my dream one day. I know for a fact Oskise is not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine imagine my dream like my dream is oskise is is working on it right now and he's taking every single level he's fixing the color palettes he's removing the tightness he's changing the parts i don't like Okay, so wait longer, go over, and then, I don't know. Why? I don't get it. Must every level be annoying in this game? Must they all be annoying? Couldn't there just be a level that is just fun? Must they all be annoying slash very, like, very annoying slash slightly fun must they all be this way they really really all have to be this way this you know you know this game's fatal flaw it tried to be hard that's the problem with this game it tried to be hard it isn't naturally hard it's trying to be hard that's the problem with this game it is artificial difficulty because the creator wanted it to be hard like every every pretty much every jump should be like that muncher should be down one. This should be a little looser. This should be a little more clear. Like every jump in this game is like that. Every fucking jump is like that. I feel like you can tell when the player, when the creator just wanted it to be hard and they prioritize difficulty. And I think that that's the flaw of this game. I think that the fact that it's still fun in spite of all of that, because it is still a fun game. I think that speaks to how good of a level creator Oskise is. I just think he was a little misguided on this game. Uh, I still don't know what to do there. I guess I have to wait for the piranha to go back up or something. Well, there's munchers that tell you what to do. And then there's, there's munchers that are overly punitive. Like these munchers here over there that prevent you. Oh, I guess you could just do a normal jump, huh? These munchers are overly punitive, especially considering there's a fucking muncher wall to your left as well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna land, do a big jump and then go or something because the piranha plant's blocking me. Like when you did everything correct, but you still died because you just didn't jump good enough and you didn't make it far enough. And like that happens in every Kaizo game to some extent. Um, it happens way too fucking often in this game. Oh. Come on, I could do that. I can't even see between the background and the coins and falling. I had no chance on that one. All right, we're getting there. Oh. Like right there. Why did I deserve to die there? Come on, man. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I mean, the reason why he went with muncher lava is that lava, cave lava has really weird properties. Um, for one thing, the side wall of cave lava doesn't kill you in Super Mario World. So he just reskinned it as munchers, which is the easiest thing for it to be to kill you. That's how I fucking overshot the blarg. But you know, it's and it, this level is exactly like every other level in the game. It's annoying as shit, but it's still kind of weird. It's still fun to play. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how Oskise does it. He simultaneously annoys the fuck out of me, and I and I still I still have fun playing. I don't know how he does it. 
Uh, is Super Lonnie World worth a play? Sure, yeah. It's a pretty easy hack. It's like, um, I don't know where I'd put on the difficulty scale. I'd recommend it. It's worth a play. Oh, I've played much worse than Lonnie World. When, uh, when I released, it was funny, like, when I released Grand Pearl 2, people were like, oh, Barb, you must be so happy and you feel so much relief. And I feel like people were like, oh, shit. Oh. No, come on, man. This is garbage. Give me some fucking legway here. Like, not even, a, not even a little bit of leg room or fucking anything to do. I had no chance. I got a fucking inch forward, death by death. When I released Grand Portal 2, like, I didn't feel, like, overwhelming happiness or relief. In fact, I kind of felt like nothing. I don't know. I felt... I was pretty, like... Maybe I was too tired or too stressed or something. I don't know. It was definitely fun to watch, but... It wasn't, like, overwhelming jubilance. I don't know. I was worried people wouldn't like it. No, I really wasn't concerned about that either. I don't know. I think what happened was, is that I was just so fucking tired. Because in the, in the last, in the last month or so, like the week, the week or so before the release of Grand Portal 2, Kaizo Man and I were trading, were trading versions of Bowser back and forward. And I spent so much time playtesting Bowser and making little adjustments to Bowser. I think I was just fucking exhausted. I think I was just really, really fucking tired. Whose idea was the five wall? Uh, all of Bowser's attacks were like we made we made adjustments to them, but I designed all of Bowser's attacks. I still have the sketch. I have the Bowser sketches. <laughs> I should. I really need to post those on Discord sometime. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this fucking level. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of it. Why must you be like this? Like, I have to die every inch of this level. <laughs> Patreon? I don't have a Patreon. I think that as a, as, a, as a content creator and as a streamer and as like an internet personality or whatever you want to call me, there is a limit to how, there, there's a limit to how much you want to monetize everything. There's a, there's a limit, you know? Be sure to support my Patreon and then, and then buy some merch and then go to my YouTube and then, and then subscribe on Twitch. And then if you donate, you get the golden thing. Like there's a limit to how much you want to do that. And that in some cases less is more i don't want to i don't want to have fucking every single inch of my life be money does that make sense <sighs> literally inch by inch Literally inch by inch. Yeah, I forgot to unban Tofu and he was banned the entire day yesterday. It was a uh, freaking ha who remembered last night. There's also some other things I don't do. There's lots of streams who do like giveaways and shit, you know? Uh, I don't really do any giveaways. There's nothing wrong with doing a giveaway. I think giveaways are cool. They bring new community, new people into your community. I don't really do that. Probably because it's mostly is that I don't want to go into the whole like legality and fucking like oh you can't do it with europe and you can't do it with australia but you can do it with canada and you can do it with mexico but I, I just don't want to fucking bother with all that shit you know so i mean you know i can't dude i literally like when, I, when i'm when i'm falling here i can't see mario i straight up cannot see mario i can't see mario 
see that time so i had it I, I wanted to try something different i wanted to just focus on mario the entire time but then i lost track of the koopa i don't know man i don't know how i feel like that part's gonna be luck for me because i just can't see yeah i wonder if i've i wonder how much weight i've lost i know i've lost weight for sure i wonder how much i've lost though Can I get my glasses back? Um, it's not a glasses issue of why I can't see Mario. It has to do with the color palettes. It's Mario and the color palettes and the falling is what's doing it. This level should have had layer three turned off. The layer three, not only does the layer three actually look like shit in this level, the layer three is visually distracting. If there was no layer three, like a black background would have been fine. It's a combination of the colors looking like shit and not being able to see Mario as I'm falling. I gotta be feeling better too. I definitely have, you know, so my, what I used to do, this is my like seven or eight months ago. This was my schedule. Um, I would stream in the morning. I would end stream. I would like fall asleep on the couch cause I was so tired. And my wife would come home, we would eat. Schedule used to be stream, Turn off the stream, go to sleep on the couch. Uh, wife would come home and cook. We'd eat, stream again, sleep. That was my schedule. That's what I did. Nowadays, I don't take naps at all like that. I'm either out, outside exercise, uh, exercising and I have way more energy than I did before. So uh, what do I do for fitness? I go on really, really long walks, like really long walks. I think the red Koopa, I die sometimes there because I think there's a really weird thing about red Koopas where they spawn and they move slightly up or down. It's a really weird thing. Sometimes on this first Koopa jump, I'm just fucking dead because of how low the Koopa spawned. It's really awkward. You gotta be fucking kidding me. There's more. Oh my God. Why is there so much more? Come on. I, I no chance. I don't even, uh, not even a fucking chance. Just an immediate fuck me, right? Okay, so you can't go right. I think, okay, here's what I think you do. I think you land, you wait for the blar guys to go down, you run between them. And you have to like stay between them because I have to get over to the right. So I have to wait for the eyes to go down. Go down, go down, go down. Why couldn't you just make it good? <laughs> Why can't you just take your game and make it good? Why is that so hard to do? I know you know how. I know you know how to do it. <laughs> just take your game and make it good. I did. What did I do to myself? Fuck you. Don't say that shit to me. I did what? I didn't put the midway there. I didn't make it a three gap hole. <laughs> Horse shit, you did that to yourself. Why is it so hard to take something and make it good? Why? Why is that fucking impossible? It's obvious that's fucking shit. It's so obvious that's shit. I know I'm close, but I don't wanna get the midway because I know whatever's after the midway is gonna fucking piss me off too. That's see, I know, I know. That's why I don't. That's why I don't want to get the midway. No, no, you're not gonna convince me to get the midway. I need revenge after yesterday. After this game cucked me hard, 
Uh, so we're gonna get some revenge on Salty Sagan World on the lava level. Try to beat that one. I think I should keep it to like one level a day because the levels are so hard at this point. So probably keep it to one level a day. Oh, maybe today we won't miss the, the checkpoint. Yeah, maybe maybe today. Maybe today's the day we won't miss the checkpoint, right? All right, let's do it. Larg's Lava Pit. Back in this fucking, back in the shit pit, man. I'm pretty happy with my, I, I, I uploaded my Castlevania PB yesterday. To, uh, oh, I, I forgot this level. I uploaded my Castlevania PB yesterday to YouTube. Man, I'm pretty happy with uh, 1402. I mean, I, I want to do better and I want to improve it. I'm just, I'm pleased with how, I'm pleased with my progress so far. New cam setting. Um, I fuck with some cam settings because I thought I was a little like, whoops. I thought I was a little washed out and like white, white and shit. So I fuck with my cam setting a little bit. Fuck, same thing. I think the best, the best, uh, one of the best vertical levels I've ever played is uh, the Rise and Fall. Fuck, man. The Mario, Mario ROM hacks in the past couple of years have sure changed a lot. I think really Dram 1, Dram 1 was the, the initial spark. Dram 1 and Mario Maker together were the thing that sort of, that was like the fertilizer for the Mario World, the Mario World ROM hack renaissance or whatever. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be too long in this section. It's just uh, the annoying precision in this level is what's getting me. That and being really, it's really hard for me to follow Mario in the long falling sections. You know what's funny is that I, I really feel like this level would actually look really nice if it was just a black background. Because it probably took a lot of time to just like this lava, like to make the lava in this shape was probably really difficult. If it was just a black background, it would actually be pretty striking looking in my opinion, but. Thoughts on Mega Man post GDQ? Uh, I've only played Mega Man 1 and 2. I played a little bit of Mega Man 3, but Mega Man 3 really pissed me off because of how fucking like laggy it was. Every level was like super laggy and it was really irritating i don't know i feel like i i think i almost beat mega man 3 and i just said fuck it just because i was so irritated with it i would i just want to get out of this section honestly this section is probably one of my least favorite in the game it's very annoying very precise and very it's like also disorienting like it's still fun but it's like, it's on another level of annoying for me compared to everything else in the game at this point. I don't know, this is my least favorite section of the game. I'd, I'd really like to get past this. Okay. So wait, what? If I get, so if I get the secret exit, if I get the secret exit, then I have to redo the start again? Really? That is, this is actually like the worst possible place you could have put the secret exit. If I get the secret exit, I have to redo the whole thing. This is, this is the actual worst part you could have put the secret exit at. So I have to redo this entire thing all over again. <sighs> that is the actual worst place you could put it. All right, what do we got? Cool. I guess you could you could actually bring the key with you, couldn't you? Unless there's something to stop that. Oh, I see. Okay. I should probably just do this now, right? just do the first section over again i mean i don't know you get over there and then you just key jump up oh, that was almost it i talked about this rom hack at length already it's 
It's both very fun and very frustrating all the time. Fuck. I can always do, you know, I can do the first key jump and I can never do the second one. Never do the second one. Yeah, I feel, I really feel like it wouldn't have been hard to just like have a place where you land at the start of this level and put this in there. I feel like that wouldn't have been hard at all. I can, it's the successive key jumps are the fucking hardest thing in the world for me. I can do one, I can't do two. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? Get on it, what the fuck was that? Bullshit. I don't know how do people how do people fucking do like how do people do like 50 key jumps in a row? Like Rezzy and Dode and How do they fucking do that? I don't get it. How do they do that? How do they do that? I don't know. I can barely do two in a row. <sighs> Alright. Well, now here's here's the real charming part is that guess what I get to do now back to the start <laughs> that's the real charming part well that's an exit though that's an exit once again we have proved that this kid has bad taste boy I just love having to do this I've had the, this is the third time I've had to beat this section I beat it yesterday I went right past the midway I beat it today. I did do key jumps to get to the checkpoint or to get to the secret exit. And now I have to beat it again just to get back to the second half of this level. Fuck me, right? I hope, uh, I hope Mitch, I hope if, if I were to choose anybody to be on the couch, I really think, uh, I know, I know I'm going to be on the couch. I hope Mitch, uh, also chooses, uh, Pooh because I think Pooh, I think Pooh is the best choice to be on the couch for it. Who is a very good person to have on your couch? Also, the game is called Grand Pooh World, so. Is GDQ a charity? Yes. Uh, SGDQ benefits Doctors Without Borders, I believe. It's a medic Medicine Sans Frontier. And uh, AGDQ benefits uh, the Prevent Cancer Society. The Prevent Cancer Society, I believe. Okay, we did it again. Why does he even let you bring the key? <laughs> How do you donate to GDQ? Uh, when Games Done Quick happens, they, there's all different. Uh, they there's like links on their on the Twitch profile. I don't remember what it was. It feels like Oskise when he was making this hack, he just discovered he could make Map 16 act like anything, and that's honestly kind of worrying to me. <laughs> it's very worrying. Am I going to SGDQ? I am going to SGDQ. Like, wait, I can make map 16 do that. Uh, what, what killed me? What killed me? What killed me there? <laughs> I don't know what killed me. The wall curiosity. Scroll, did I get pinched by the scroll or something? God, I, if I never have to play another fast auto scroll section, it'll, it'll, it's, it's a trend I wish would fucking just completely die. The fast auto scroll section as, as somebody who plays lots of levels and lots of SMW, the fast auto scroll section can just fucking die. <laughs> I'd like to never have to do one of these ever again. The auto scroll in Kaizo one is very cool. At least it looks like it. It's actually really fucking frustrating because there's a... For one thing, there is a one frame jump off of a platform, uh, which is really fucking annoying. And then afterwards, there's a two frame jump out of the water, which is also really fucking annoying. As somebody who speed ran Kaizo 1, fuck the Kaizo 1 auto score. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, dude, I didn't even know where I was going. Yeah, I like, it's like I'm getting like sucked off the, the vine somehow. Weird. Yeah, the, vi the vine is sucking me off. 
Something about Meat Boy, I look at it and I'm sure it's really fun. I'm sure if I actually got into it and played it, I'd enjoy it. Uh, something about it looks anno like, I don't know, not that interesting to me though. Probably like misjudging it or something. No! Two? Two? Z? What Z? Where's the fuck? There's no Z button. <laughs> what the fuck kind of controller is he using? Is he using his Ouya or something? Or does he have a fucking Z? Z. Yeah, it's. I think it's... You know what it is? I think once you grab the vines, you can't go up or down. I think that's what it is. I really think that's what it is. Did I play Chain Reaction or anything by Sweet Dude? Did I? Didn't I play a Sweet Dude level? I don't. You know. You know what? You know what's happened? In my mind, I have combined Sweet Dude and Duders, and now it's like neither of those people exists. Because there's too many fucking dudes. Change. So one of them has to change their name. Fight to the death. I don't, I, I don't know which one's which. One of them has to die. I played the Sweet Dude level with the Mario Mega Man. I remember that level. That level was cool. Sweet Dude is better with level, than, than who? Than Duders or he he's like improved. I liked the, the wall jump level. I thought it was cool. It had like a couple of parts that were a little confusing, but it was cool. You know, you know what Aladdin is? Aladdin is a movie I would see in high school if I was trying to take my girlfriend to go see a movie to get a hand job or something. And there is no other reason I would ever go see that movie. <laughs> I don't want to see Aladdin, but I kind of want a hand job. Remember I saw this one fucking movie? Like, oh my God, what was that movie? It was like Ashton Kutcher is dating a girl and her dad is Bernie Mac or something. It was the fucking worst movie I ever saw. I mean, had to go see it, right? <laughs> every every level creator, every single level creator out there for SMW should reconsider whatever muncher ceilings you have in your in your hack or your level. You should consider loosening those up. The low the low muncher ceiling is It's, wow, what was that? The low muncher ceiling is the fucking, I don't even know. It's the truffle oil of the Super Mario World ROM hack. Maybe some people like it, but please don't fucking spray it all over my meal. Please don't. Uh, you can very easily get into Mario World ROM hacks just on emulator. I started an emulator, uh, m like, some of the best Kaizo players in the world still play on emulator. Just play on emulator. Emulators are good enough now that it doesn't even matter. Get a get a cheap controller and then play on emulator. Lo a low muncher ceiling is like... Like right there, I died to a low muncher ceiling. Like a lot of times what happens is, is that you did the jump, you just, you held jump a little bit too long, or you, you got a, you got too good of a re-grab. That happens very often with low muncher ceilings. It's just, it's just bad difficulty. Make it hard, but like, there's no reason to do that. You know? Okay, they definitely have to throw the block. Okay, so I threw it too late. What? Did I overshoot the block? I didn't even grab it. Did I overshoot the block? Do I have to, maybe I have to let go of A there. This looks like not fun. Oh yeah, we haven't even been here all that long. Hey, you know what? A after redoing, you know what? I understand the genius of the level design. After having to redo the first part of this level three times and get the midway, uh, now, I, now I'm just glad to be playing anything else. I was facing left. 
Why was I facing left? Why the fuck was I facing left? Face right, Mario. Fuck's sake. Come on. <laughs> Can you make that? Can I do that? That would be sick. Can you imagine? No! <laughs> no! I actually did it. Okay. Dude, I can't grab this motherfucker. You know, maybe I should just mash run. Maybe mash run. I'm gonna mash run over there. Okay, we're gonna hold right and mash. I can't, dude, I can't grab this fucking thing. I feel like I'm landing past it or something. Is there an easy comprehensive tutorial using Lunar Magic? I have so many questions about it. Uh, exclamation point tutorial. I did one. It covers all, pretty much all the basic shit and some more advanced stuff. Small jump, small jump. Oh, shit. Well, a small jump off the blark works. Okay. And then I think that's a that's an auto scroll assisted midair. Wow, we are full on Mario Maker. This is full on like 98% Mario Maker. Small jump, small jump. What? Come on. It really is Mario Maker. I did the midair, but it wasn't good enough. It really is Mario Maker. Don't you get tired of not passing a level or does it motivate you want to pass it more? Um, well, pretty much everything I set my mind to, I beat, you know? So. I think you could do something with limited lives and continues and stuff, but I think it's, I think it's proportional to how difficult you want your game to be. If you want your game to be extremely difficult, then resetting the player's progress is more likely just going to be extremely frustrating. What in the fuck am I doing? What the hell is that? What did I die to? Does anybody, what did I even die to? Does anybody know? I, I'm looking at it, I'm like, wait, what did I die to? What the fuck did I die to? I died to the shell. I sent the shell forward. I mean, I don't even know what's happening there. So, okay, so you have to throw up, throw up the shell and then hold a shell, throw up a shell and then, and then hold a shell, I think is what I have to do. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, fuck this section. I think you have to hold, throw the first one up, throw the next one. Slade went live. Hey, look, Slade went live and you got banned. Whoops, I missed. God damn it. What is it? Do I have to hold alt? Slade went live and you got banned. What a coincidence. All right, can somebody unban Terry? I missed. another midair at the end too no it can't be because you need the last shell why like i do the midair like but it, why is there a lava donger i did the midair why is the lava donger even there this hack i think would have this hack if it had had a little just it just needed a little gentle push in the right direction couple of little things like little things in every single level would have made the difference for this hack and this this hack would be remembered as an amazing hack instead of being like an obscure one that very few people even played just a little tiny nudge in the right direction it was also his first smw rom hack so he should probably be commended for how he did
No! I thought I had it. I thought I had it there. Ryu one, that's something of a beginner hack. Yeah, yeah, Ryu one is um It's alright. It has some really stupid levels in it. It has like two or three levels that are really fucking annoying and not good. It does have some very good levels though. It's too easy to be consistent at the tricks. Honestly, like every, I, I haven't quite figured out the shell part. Everything in this entire section feels really easy to me with the exception of the grabbing that one block. That's the one thing giving me trouble. There's hope for us starting with Mario Maker 2. I mean, that's Mario Maker is a great tool for learning how to design levels people actually want to play. For sure. Because you actually get, especially on Twitch, you actually get to watch somebody play your level and like see how, see how they play it, how they approach it, what they like or dislike. It's a very good tool. It's a tool people like, uh, like, Takamoto and others didn't have. What are the design strengths of Dram 1? Dram, the, the genius thing of Dram 1 is that it took the parts of Kaizo 1 and 2 that were cool but really fucking annoying to actually play and made them playable and fun. That's the genius of Dram 1. Dram 1 is like, there's a lot of levels in Dram 1 that are like, yeah, this is basically that level in Kaizo 1. This is basically that level in Kaizo 2. But he made it actually interesting and not tedious and fucking annoying to play. Yeah, I will play more. I will play viewer levels in Mario Maker 2. It might be subscriber levels. I'm not sure. It won't be. I'm not going to be doing day one viewer levels. Day one, I'm going to be in the editor. I'm probably going to at least make at least one or two levels before I even go over to play viewer levels. So am I streaming at midnight at GDQ? No, uh, I will be back. I'll be back from GDQ. I'm going to, I'm not going to be, I'm so I'll, Mario maker two comes out Friday. Um, I'll be flying back in on Friday, uh, from, from GDQ. I'm going to be starting a later stream that day. Cause uh, I'll be, I'll be literally traveling all morning, but I will be streaming on release day of Mario maker two, but my schedule is going to be really weird and fucked up it's because I'm getting back from GDQ. So. I really hate that. I really hate that. Did that not annoy? Like, I always wonder, like, when the person was making that level, when the person was, when, when Oskize was making this level, did he not die to that and get like, man, that's fucking annoying. Did he never stop to think that? <laughs> did it not annoy him? I'm assuming he play tested everything. Was that not fucking annoying for him? I don't know. What is happening? I just not, I don't have enough, like my, my brain. I'm trying, man. I don't even know what's happening over there. I don't even know what's fucking happening over there. Dude, I really don't know what to do there. Like I'm pressing up. I am pressing up. I press up. I'm pressing up and run. Nothing is happening. I don't know. I, I don't. I really don't. Why is there death kanji? I don't know. I don't know if I go in that last pipe past the piranha plant. There's a note block. Do I jump? I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. Every death in this level annoys me. There hasn't been a death in this level where it's like, ah, oh, okay, I died. They're all annoying. Dying here is annoying. Dying here is annoying. Dying on this grab block is annoying. They're all annoying. That's the most annoying death of all. Most annoying of all. This is fucking stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid as shit. This is really stupid. Do I get too much negativity comments on my YouTube? No, I don't really get that much negativity. Occasionally I get some bullshit, but YouTube's fine. YouTube comments are always like, 
I try to read and like interact with people on YouTube, but it's always like, I don't know. It's hard to actually have like a conversation or interact with people in a meaningful way on the platform of YouTube. On Twitch, I can have a conversation and back and forth with somebody. On, on YouTube, you can't. On YouTube, you, you don't. All right, so I think what I want to do, I think maybe I understand it a little better. Okay. Can you kick the shells? No, apparently not. But sometimes you just like make it through. It's weird. What's funny is that like Mario Maker fans will be like, Barb is never will never be as good as the Beast and this person and you know blah blah blah. He sucks at Mario Maker. And then as W fans will be like. Barb's never going to be as good as Goad or, and you know, this person's better, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, I can't win. Oh. Just really like to get through there once. I'm really excited to get to a level where dying is not my fault, where, where dying is my fault. Like, I don't care how hard the level is. I'm really excited to die to shit that I feel like, oh, that's what I did wrong. All right, well, that's hard. I don't even know why I'm fucking dying in this level. I, I, I have no idea why. The girl you're dating has a widow speak and asked you bothered me. They said, because my favorite streamer has one. <laughs> oh, don't worry, babe. You don't look that bad. Here's this, here's this stream of this really fucking ugly guy I like on Twitch. See, I like him. You're fine. So how, how long did it take her? Like how much therapy does this poor girl have to go through? Did she, did she ever recover when you compared her to me? Do I go in the last pipe? Do I go in the last pipe? I don't even know what I did. I don't even know why I succeeded that time. Do I go in that last pipe? What? <laughs> Just let me do it. What do you want from me? I've been crushed by the stupid death symbol twice. What am I supposed to do? It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense. Even if I get past that, it just looks like death. This is, this is the fucking, this is the stupidest fucking ROM hack. This is the stupidest fucking ROM hack anybody's ever made. This is the stupidest fucking ROM hack anybody's ever made. It's the worst. It's actually the worst. It's the worst fucking ROM hack anybody's ever made. What, uh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I actually do? It's the fucking stupidest ROM hack I've ever played. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it is, it is the stupidest. This is, this is, this takes the cake. I have never played such a stupid fucking ROM hack as this one. This is it. This is the winner. Of the dumbest fucking ROM hack ever made by a human. <sighs> I don't even, I didn't even see what to do. You win. There's more! There's fucking more! Oh my god, how is there more? Are we done? Is there an after death troll now? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What an idiot. <laughs> oh my fucking Lord. Dumbest.
ROM hack ever by re by big huge idiot. <laughs> there we go. Now it's accurate. Now we're good. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> good fucking god. Oh my god. That level was the equivalent of hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? That was that fucking level, man. Good lord. All right. I I can't. There's no way. There is no fucking way. I'm playing another level in this game today. There's no way. I can't do it. There is no fucking way I'm doing another level of this game. Fake lava. That level fucked. I got fucked in that level every way possible. I missed. <laughs> I, I missed the checkpoint on my first time. I missed the checkpoint. I had to redo the entire first section. I got the key jumps. I had to redo that second. I had to redo that part again. I had to redo that part three times three times at the midway secret exit at the midway i died everywhere in the second part i went down the death pipe <laughs> like the only way i didn't die was at the football at the end but that part was actually skill based that's the only thing i didn't die to was the fucking football at the end but thankfully i'm good enough that it didn't didn't matter sneak peek sure i'll take a sneak peek red run right tap left before what red run right tap left before eating yellow stand still until yoshi eats the second mole blue try to eat where the coins are what the fuck you think i'm gonna fucking remember this shit what the hell does this mean i'm also colorblind <laughs> oh my god delete this game and never look back i mean you only got four exits left we got this one uh what was made for me just learn just just see colors just see colors buy some chroma glasses just so you know this level is very hard you have to be moving around constantly and there's also not very much room for error <laughs> yeah all right goodbye